Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Manuel, Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November. And this is a follow-up video on the Uniform 01 topic. Right after the last video, uh, where I explained how to build the Uniform 01 antenna, um, Tom, Delta Juliet 5, Rumi Echo, contacted me and had a suggestion to make. Um, he said, if we could not make a PCB that would contain everything we need in, in one PCB, Remember, we had this PCB, we were using this PCB by uh, Delta Golf uh, 1 Juliet Alpha November for our NFET half-wave transformer. And this is a good thing, practical for QRP and doing all kinds of stuff. I, I did a lot, I built a lot of antennas uh, around that thing, I, I really like it. However, for the Uniform 01 antenna, there was the idea to have a self-contained unit if you want. So we designed this PCB. <clears throat> it basically contains a hole for the broadband transformer. In this case it's for an FT140-43. It will resist a little bit more power. And now the clue is we have two different traces to wind stuff on there. So it not only is the, the broadband transformer for the antenna, it also is the, the transporting uh, handle, if you will, for this antenna. And we have two different uh, lanes, one for the rope and one for the wire. And the ready product looks like this. As you can see, here's the wire. And here I have the rope, the beginning rope, the end rope and here's the antenna wire with all the connectors in between like this is the 6080 connection and there we can see the triangle that's used to lift up to the pole it's basically after the 40 meter section we have the triangle and this is also the connection between 40 and 60 if you remember the video uh, if you don't remember please Click that link here and you will see what I mean. And I basically just exchanged the wire I built around this twisty, uh, sorry, <laughs> reflex, around this uh, broadband transformer, disconnected it, connected it to this PCB and we're good. Now I have a self-contained unit. See this? contains everything I need, very practical for transportation. And that's not everything. I also played a little bit around with my uh, portable antenna. This is a basic end fed halfway for 40 meters, uh, also 20, 15, 10. It's basically the same antenna I have here, this is the pocket antenna, you remember probably my last videos uh, where I did portable, but this has copper enameled wire. It's super lightweight, portable, compact, however this copper enamel wire doesn't last long, that's the problem. You can build this antenna up five to maybe ten times and then it starts to show some wear and tear and you need to exchange the wire. That's a practical thing if you want to have it like in a in a bug out bag or whatever. You don't need it often, um, but an antenna that I carry with me to do portable operations should be able to withstand a little bit more of uh, abuse, let's say. So I built the same antenna and fed halfway for 40 meters, but I used this time the very good uh, DX wire um, ultralight and on top of that I even had special string from Peter uh, DX wire. This is a two millimeter, no one millimeter string, uh, very tough like a uh, force resistance of 90 kilograms, that's crazy. And just to separate that uh, with color, this is the string I'm using to pull the, the middle point up basically if I want I can use it to pull the antenna up um, over a branch for example 
so I'm, I'm a little bit more flexible. I don't need that. I can also just tie one end to a tree and tie the other end to a tree or to the ground, doesn't matter. Then it's like a flat antenna, but I can also uh, use it as an inverted V. Therefore, I have this green string. I can separate it. So that's the update for today. As always, um, I will put you a link in the description below. Um, this file for this spindle here, that was not designed by me. I took it from Thingiverse and I don't want to have any uh, <laughs> honor or appreciation for that. I just took it because it was so practic practical. You don't need to reinvent the wheel every time. So I took that, I scaled it up so it would fit. Just size comparison, you see the pocket antenna is a little bit smaller in package however it's still okay take it with you and as always the files for this will be published you can download them you can have made them by JLC PCB and just to mention that we have here also a little bit of information how to use it and I also published the files for the cover. This covers up not only the broadband transformer, the, the toroid, it also covers up the uh, capacitor, so this is protected. It will be like so. Okay, and another thing I need to mention, because we are yet now using the FT140-43 toroid, this is now 2 in 14 turns two and 14 turns um, we discussed earlier three and 21 but this depends on the core size this ft140-43 toroid is big enough so we get away with two turns and 14 turns the xl of the primary winding is enough and the good news is this also can handle 100 watts so we have now upgraded the thing to its best i hope Okay, that's it. That's all for today. See you next time. 73. Good luck. Bye-bye.